My name is Grace Christensen, and it's my second year in 4-H, and I've been in the bunkhouse gang. This is my presentation called Different Types of Chickens for Different Types of People. And that was my rooster, Smokey, who just got your attention. And this PowerPoint is about how different kinds of people want different kinds of chickens. Here are some layers. These lay eggs. This is the leghorn. These guys are easy to care for and lay over 300 eggs a year. They are super friendly and rarely go broody. They can be all different solid colors. They can get frostbite in the cold but are hardy in the heat. Fun facts about the leghorn. The chicken pros know that leghorn is actually pronounced leghorn. You can put petroleum jelly on the comb and wattles to prevent frostbite. The white leghorn is actually more pearl colored than white. This is the Ancona. These chickens are just like leghorns but model black and white. They take the heat well, get frostbite in the cold, and do not deal well with it. They lay 260 to 300 eggs a year depending on their diet. This is the Ericana. These chickens come in many different colors just like the leghorn. They are very cold hardy and will do okay in the heat. These chickens are very broody. They are very calm and people friendly. They lay different colored eggs, so they are called Easter Eggers. And they have a tuft on each side of their head. Any questions? And for those of you that aren't sure what broody means, this is a video of my hen being broody. They bite you and they want to protect their eggs, so they push them back under themselves. <laughs> so that is my hen, and her name is Hawk, and that's her being broody. So are there any questions? Emily? Do I have a, the question was, do I have a favorite chicken? Yes, they're uh, mentioned later, later in the presentation, and I will tell you which one later. <laughs> Here's some meat chickens. You can eat these. This is called the seal. These chickens are very aggressive and should be kept with bigger breeds. They are protective mothers and go very broody. They're they can also handle extreme and freezing temperatures. They don't have as much meat as other breeds, but they are still good meat chickens. This is the Brahma. These chickens are mainly used for meat, but some people use them as egg layers. They do not lay well. They are usually buff, gray, and gray and black. They are heat and cold hardy. They are quiet and gentle. Some are used as pets. They're one of the biggest chicken breeds there are. Fun fact about the Brahma. They can weigh up to 15 pounds. That's more than the average house cat. They have feathered feet and legs. These guys are known to lay down and eat at the same time. This is the Cornish. These guys are very cold hardy and need to be kept cool in the summer. They are dark, which is brown, and white. They are very slow and lazy. They are noisy too. They are very broody and protective mothers. We have two of these and they were the dark Cornish hens and that was Hawk in the video. Here are some show breeds. You take them to chicken sh shows. This is the Silky. These chickens are gray, black, buff, and white and make excellent pets. They like the in-between temperatures. They have very beautiful and soft feathers. Most of them are lazy and love attention. And these are my favorite breed of chickens. Fun facts about the Silky. These chickens have feathered feet, legs, and have five toes instead of the normal four. They're known as the poodles of the chicken world. And some people dye the tops of their heads. And we have two of these too, a rooster and a hen. This is the Campin. 
These chickens are super curious and like humans. They eat almost anything you give them but keep a good weight. These chickens are super pretty too. They say they can grow on you. They are black and white and golden and tan. This is the cochin. These chickens need a fan on them in the summer, but they deal quite well in the cold. They place well in chicken shows and are very pretty. They are calm and go broody very often. They are famous for the soft feathers. Here are some dual purpose chickens. These are the ones where you can choose what you want to do with them. You can show them when they are young, use them for layers in their laying ears, and eat them when they are done laying. Or you can do another pattern. This is the black Australorp. These chickens are very, very cold hardy and need to be kept cooled in the summer. They are good mothers and lay around 200 to 240 eggs a year. They are nice and thick for a good meat chicken too. They don't show real well, but that's okay. They are blue gray, black, and sometimes white. Fun facts about the Australorp. These chickens are black with hints of purple and green. They are shy, but also very sweet if tamed. They lay extra large eggs, and their eggs are dark brown. This is the New Hampshire Red. They go broody occasionally, but are good mothers. They lay 250 to 290 eggs a year. They are also very cold and heat hardy, but cannot handle extreme temperatures. They are nice and thick, for so make good meat chickens. They are always light brown with black on the tail. This is the Orpington. These big, gentle birds are usually always buff, but some are black. They are excellent mothers and lay around 200 to 240 eggs a year. They can handle hot and cold temperatures. They are okay meat chickens and show real well because they are easy to handle and have nice feathers. Now I will be talking to you about eggs. These are the egg sizes from left to right. Peewee, small, medium, large, extra large, and in the separate picture is a jumbo egg with a quarter. This is what our Cornish hen lays, and these are probably medium. This one is probably medium and they weigh 1.7 ounces. This is another egg of our Cornish hen showed in the video and this is probably a small to medium and this weighs 1.6 ounces. And my sister's chicken, Peter P Tweeter, lays itty bitty eggs um, and they, these are peewee. So if any of you want to come up and check the eggs out after I'm finished, you can. And here's where I got my info. There's a site called Henderson's Chicken Chart. I got it from Wikipedia, MyPetChicken.com, and BackyardChickens.com. Any questions? Emily? Do, the question was, do I show chickens in 4-H? Yes, this year was my first year showing chickens. Any more questions? Um, the question was, how many chickens of my favorite breed do I have? I have two Silkies, and their names are Fluffball Fathead and Slim Jim Skinny Head. And one's a rooster and one's a hen. The question was, do we have any other breeds of chickens at home? Yes, we had, we have two Cornish hens, hawk and falcon, and we did have a rooster called Bakabob, but we gave him away. And then we have a rooster named Smokey, and he's Old English, and. He was not men mentioned in the video, or the presentation. And we have two New Hampshire Reds, and their names are Bob and, Bob and Rusty. And then the little 
Silver Duckwing is, her name is P Petet, and uh, she lays the really small eggs. And then we have two black barred rocks and barred Plymouth rocks, and their names are Le Steve and Leroy. And they're all girls, except Smokey. So I like to, I hope you like my presentation and thanks for watching.